Hello there, and welcome to my social pathology video, by which you understand underlying the mechanics of social problems, and also by which you reconfirm your life direction with the confidence. This time, I would like to discuss the release of Giovanni Brusca a kingpin of Sicilia Mafia. Hello, my name is Dr. Samurai, a professor specialized in international social pathology and also a uh, active prison counselor of 20 years experience. As usual, first, I am providing you a brief general information and then later on like to get into our main discussions okay you uh, ready let's go Giovanni Brusca he was the very perpetrator of uh, killing uh, anti-mafia magistrate Giovanni Falcone and also he confessed more than 150 murders by himself, one of which he killed 12-year-old son of Mafia Turncoat D. Matteo by pretending like a police officer, promising to take him to see his father but he actually killed the boy and dissolved his body in a bathtub, which was one of the most uh, disgusting crime. And all for that, he received life prison. But because he became a police informant, and now he was released 26 years after his incarceration. It is alleged that his great-grandfather and grandfather were both farmers, but at the same time, mafia member. And uh, his father was a uh, head in charge of uh, San Giuseppe Yato area. His father was said to be uh, close to uh, Corleone Mafia, such as uh, Salvatore Riina, or Bernardo Provenzano, or R Leo Luca Bagarella. His father was uh, associated with uh, those powerful people from Corleone area of uh, Sicily. When his father, Bernardo, was uh, arrested and sent to prison, this uh, Giovanni Brusca became the head of uh, San Giuseppe Yato area. As I have mentioned a little bit, in addition to uh, killing 150 uh, uh, people and also that 12-year-old uh, kid, his uh, biggest role was killing that uh, central figure of anti-mafia movement, Giovanni Falcone. And it is uh, alleged that uh, Brusca himself pushed a huge amount of explosive tied to skateboard into the tunnel digged under the road Mr. Falcone was going to uh, take. And uh, he is the one 
who actually ignited the bomb. So uh, he was the very perpetrator of the murder of Mr. Giovanni Falcone. After all these crimes he committed, once he turned himself to be a, an informant like the father of the 12-year-old son who was killed because his father became an informant. He became the same informant and released 26 years after. And now he is uh, still young at uh, 64 years old. When he was active, he was called Pig or the People Slayer. But uh, among the Mafia members, he was uh, regarded uh, very uh, powerful and uh, effective. The reason I uh, made this uh, Giovanni Brusca as today's topic is, is this kind of thing uh, really okay? Like uh, pleading guilty and uh, becoming a government witness actually released alive after killing 150 people, dissolving the body of a 12 year old kid and uh, killing the major figure of anti-mafia movement. According to uh, Mr. Falcone's uh, uh, sister, this release was uh, very sad news in human terms, but uh, it is the law. And uh, his brother wanted the law to be respected. So we must take it, although it is uh, emotionally difficult, personally. Similar cases exist so many, not only in Italy, but also in the United States, as you uh, may know better than I do. Serial killer Samuel Little, in his direct letter to me, he said, uh, it's funny that uh, there's a guy who get a death sentence only for killing uh, one person, but me, who killed uh, 93 women and enjoyed every each one of the moment of it, get a life sentence. He himself was saying that. And there are so many cases Although, among my prison friends who killed uh, multiple people as part of their serial murders, they are still enjoying their lives. I am exchanging with them to learn things that uh, only those who uh, committed such crimes knows. But uh, at the same time, when I uh, came back to be just a person, I sometimes wonder, like one life versus like 93 lives, right? And they dead and they cannot even uh, breathe and see the beautiful uh, dandelion flowers but he is alive I uh, 
dare to say this, that Christianity is uh, contributing to uh, all these cases to happen as part of the reason because uh, once they uh, admit their sins and they believe in uh, Jesus Christ they will be forgiven no matter what they did right but uh, as uh, a person who uh, brought up uh, in Japan which uh, traditionally respect uh, laws of nature like a balance balance sheet we have this uh, saying that uh, if you are going to kill one person you must dig two holes one for that target the other for yourself so it is like you kill one person you must be ready to die too this is the natural providence law of nature absolute balance right and uh, honestly i still uh, have this uh, feelings for this natural balance there's one more thing that i like to add this uh, mr giovanni brusca allegedly apologized to the public for all those crimes he committed why after so many years of criminal life he could uh, change so dramatically it is because there are three types of psychopath one is a primary psychopath this is a emotional handicap cannot have the same emotions as we do second is secondly psychopath in other words uh, sociopath they have feelings but uh, in order to survive aggressive and offensive environment they chose to react exactly like primary psychopath but they do have emotions because when they were very young they had uh, opportunities to communicate with others with the emotions and loves but they had to choose the other way to survive later on and the third one is called uh, the social psychopath this is the psychopath close to a uh, second uh, secondly psychopath with the emotions available but the uh, environment they were born to was the environment in which violent acts including murders or normal things like gangs and mafias and those uh, war zones to those who live in such environment that subculture of aggressive acts being normal becomes normal so although they have love towards their family and towards their close members and you know uh, towards their friends they can uh, make themselves numb automatically to outsiders or their enemies and mr brusca 
is considered to belong to this third type. So he did all kinds of uh, cruel things because in the subculture he was raised in, all those things were natural acts. But uh, he also had feelings and emotions and love, probably to his father or to his, uh, you know, family members and stuff. So that is why once he turned off the switch, like he has been doing to his uh, family members or those close to him, he now turned off of his switch to do aggressive acts as his business. So that is why he could apologize to the public, you know. He's now supposed to be living one of the two faces he has been having. The face that he has been showing to only those close people. But he could uh, easily turn on the other switch too if he if he uh, wants to because he has been living that way for almost uh, all his life he's 64 years old so that is the underlying mechanics of why he could change so dramatically I would really like to hear what do you really think? You think uh, the release of uh, Mr. Giovanni Brusca is the uh, right thing? Please let me know. I just like to know what the public people are thinking. That said, the laws of nature are placed before any kinds of philosophies or religions because all those latter things are man-made and nature and natural providence have been there way before human beings showed up on this earth and we are all part of nature born as a part of nature and going back as part of the nature this fact we can never deny and uh, respect and unify with the rules of uh, where we were born is the most important directions and uh, according to a Carl Jung is the our final mission as human beings anyway if uh, you like this kind of deep down discussions uh, please click that the uh, red uh, Dr. Samuel logos and uh, by discussing these topics together each time, let's uh, proceed together to uh, the true uh, happiness on this planet. This is it. And uh, please appreciate each day as something special wherever you are, my friend. Love you now.